I'm talking to who is probably the dean of the street singers. His name is Cortelia Clark. Uh, Cortelia, where, where'd you get a name like Cortelia? Well, I was born in Chicago. Oh. And later named me by Miss Stewart, the one gave me that name. Oh, is that right? Then I was brought to Robson County uh, when I was a baby. Down there to Adams, you might know where that's at. Between uh, Springfield and Guthrie, Kentucky. Oh, yeah. In the country place. Well, now, you, you're not a native southerner, then, if you're born in Chicago. How I old? was born in Chicago. How old were you when you came to I was a baby. Oh, well, you're a southerner, then. <laughs> Southern, I was a baby. Have you, have you always uh, uh, been in music? I've been in music ever since I was young. Off to know now. Mm -hmm. But did, I mean, did you ever do anything else for a living? I've worked in a broom factory out here at the 42nd at Charlotte Pike. Oh, yeah. Tied up broom cone and was kind of a poodle jealous out there. That's uh -huh. when I had partial sight. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, were you born without vision or... Uh... Oh, I was born with... Uh, seen out of my right eye. Uh -huh. But my left one was gone. I see. And... Uh... Your, your sight in that one eye has deteriorated since then. It's That's got right. worse. It's got worse. Mm -hmm. Did any of that uh, music other people's compositions, or do you uh, mostly improvise your own? I improvise my own mostly. Uh, every now and then you might take a line from somebody's song. Yeah, yeah. Well, I noticed, for example, you... Every now and then. I know you do walk right got in. my own. Yeah. Walk right in and uh, yeah. bye-bye blues. Yeah. But when you get through with it, it's more Cortina Clark than it is Everly Brothers. Or, uh, That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's my own composition. Uh-huh. Now, how about the tuning on that guitar? It doesn't seem to me like a conventional Spanish tuning. I tuned it in naturals. Uh, naturals what? E-natural. Oh, in, in the E-natural chord. E-natural chord. Mm-hmm. I believe that's a traditional old uh, uh, Spanish type of tuning. I think they used to call it the Fandango tuning. That's right. Yeah. E-natural. Um... Where do you get the ideas for these songs that you that you improvise? Oh, I just get my own idea on them. Most of them come from your own experiences? My own experiences and what I hear from other people. Um, did, do you have a family? Good to you. I have a wife and two dogs. Uh, That's all. What kind of dogs are they? Uh, one's a rat carry and the one's a beetle hound. Uh, they're pretty good company, I think. Pretty good company and I... I call them husband and wife. <laughs> they marry. Uh, I guess uh, the reason dogs man's best friend is he... Uh, he can't borrow no money from you. <laughs> um, I noticed that uh, you're selling shopping bags. Uh, do you really sell very many of these? Do most people take the shopping bags or they just... Uh, oh, well, I sell a right smart of uh -huh. them during Christmas time, oh, around yeah. shopping season, the extra value days, Christmas time, and Easter. Uh -huh. And... Holidays, 4th of July. By the way, uh, that guitar of yours, what kind of guitar is it? Mine's a K. A K? That's what I use, K guitars. Uh-huh. Oh, it's, it's specially made, or is it just uh, one of the run-of-the-mill, out-of-the-stock guitars? I bought them up on deck. You got a very long company. You had that guitar, that particular instrument, how long? I've been had one of them for about eight years, or mm -hmm. a little bit longer. Do you ever wear them out? I know that one shows a few signs of wear. I don't wear them out, but it gets mighty old. I put some shellac on them, mm -hmm. on the neck of it. You think they get better as they get older? As they get older, they get better. Because they, 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 they get more sick. Uh-huh. And for working as they get older. Do they get easier to play as they get older? That's right. Mm -hmm. you, you you take a new guitar, you got to break it in like you're break, breaking a horse. You got to break it in. When you first get it, you got to tune it and get the strings stretched, stretchable. How long the strings has got to stretch? How long do you use a set of strings? Do you change them frequently? I change them whenever I break one. Uh -huh. Then you change the whole set. Is that right? No, no, you just change the one that's broken. I change the one that's broken. Uh -huh. And you keep on playing them deliberately. That's right. And I've got a, and I've got two that I can fix one. If it break on the back, I can, I can take my little wire cutters and take it off and and fix it. Tie it up. And keep it using the same string. Yeah. They kind of like old friends. You hate to part with them, don't you? That's right. <laughs> well, I believe now would be a good time for us to go out to uh, 
Fifth Avenue there in front of Woolworth, and, and uh, I want to emphasize that this recording was actually made on location. You'll hear the traffic sounds, you'll hear the clink of coins, you'll hear the uh, call of Cotini Clark selling shopping bags, yeah. and it's just the way he sounds and has sounded for so many years, the dean of the street musicians. <laughs> 